Bobby from Gulfport asks, what's been your favorite piece of merch you've had over the years? Oh, my favorite piece of merch that we've ever had was a picture of me superimposed over Che Guevara's face. And it was an army green t-shirt that said Viva AAR. And I looked just like Che. So it was kind of cool. But my new favorite piece of merch is we have these dad hats with high heels embroidered on the front. They look really good. Kim from Tulsa asks, Tyson, what's it like knowing your wife is part of the Marvel Universe? Uh, my wife is full on a part of the Marvel Universe now. Uh, she's on the show called The Gifted on Fox. Um, she blows pink smoke and implants memories into people's heads. Uh, I think it's amazing. I, I hope, hopefully it influences our uh, children one day. Hopefully they're born superheroes, just by default. That'd be a, that'd be a sweet, sweet offering. Polly from Erie asks, if each of you were on the gong show, what hidden talent would you showcase? If I was on the gong show, I think my hidden talent would be, well, first off, I would pull off all of Mike Myers' prosthetics and expose him as being, because he's doing like this thing where he, he's, he's the host of the show, but no one knows it because he like puts on all these crazy prosthetics. But I don't know, my, my secret little talent would be that I can whistle. I can whistle like a romantic. I can whistle like your grandfather, grandfather did whenever he was like, I don't know, taking you at garage selling. I'm a good whistler. Vanessa from Silver Spring asks, Tyson, does your wife start talking to you in Russian? My wife uses her Russian dialect as a, uh, a communicator of frustration. I have, I have a feeling she communicates to her mother about me because every time they're together and like I'll be in the house, they'll be like, her mom would be like, Tyson, why, why aren't you doing this? And she, Elena would be like, Russian, Russian, Russian. And I'd be like, oh man, they're just talking all sorts of crap about me right now. Russian language is a, is a, is a, uh, is a weapon in my house. I know it. I know it. It's out to get me. Connie from Indianapolis asks, who's the go-to member of the band that people always bum money off of? The go-to member of the band that people always bum money off of is not me. I'm actually the always guy, the guy who never carries cash. So um, I think we mooch the most off of Chris, which I think I owe him like a good hundred dollars right now. Mooch. Who says mooch? Gina from Knoxville asks, what are each of your full names? Oh man, I don't know if I know everybody's full name. Um, Nicholas Don Wheeler. Christopher James Gaylor, Michael something Kinnerty. I don't know. Oh, I have, I have a feeling he's Catholic. It's Michael, let's say Michael, Michael Kinnerty. <laughs> St. Michael. And my name's Tyson J. Ritter. My parents phonetically spelled out a letter. How original. What high schools did you go to? I went to Stillwater High School in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Graduated in class 2002. That's the only high school I went to. I love how people want to imagine, I go, how, how many high schools did you go to? Well, I got kicked out of the first one when I was seven because I was a sixth grader. Um, yeah, no, just one high school. What else we got? Brilly from Nashville asked, Tyson, I remember seeing you in the house bunny. If your bandmates were in the movie with you, who would you pair each of them up with? Anna Ferris, Beverly D'Angelo, Catherine McPhee, Kat Dennings and Emma Stone. Oh, um, yes, I was in the house, Bunny. That was a fun little magical moment of the early 2000s for me. Um, I, I would pair Nick up with, uh, I'd, I'd give Nick on a Ferris. She was, she was fun. Uh, let's say Chris, more of a Bevy D, I think, Bevy D Ange, you know, cause he would remember vacation. She was gorgeous in. Um, Mike, uh, Mike, I'd give him a stone, yeah. I would, like, listen to me, I sound like I'm like delegating a harem. And for myself, I really liked Catherine McPhee. She was like a hard cookie to crack. She was like, what are you? When I got to set, she's like, who are you? I was like, I'm Tyson, I'm, I'm playing a band, that's it. She's like, oh, I don't know your music. 
So I brought her like two records. And I think that really like threw her off that I brought her CDs. I was like, here, here's my band, here's my music. And she was like, what do you got up your sleeve? And then she got married while we were shooting. And I was like, why do you forsake me? <laughs> ben from Pittsburgh asks, what three songs would be the perfect encore at one of your shows? The perfect encore at our shows. Three songs that would be the perfect encore. Uh, I don't know. If, I would probably say uh, Move Along, Gives You Hell, and then our new song Sweat, available on iTunes right now.